And then we have yarrow. It's getting ready to bloom. Um, during the Civil War in Kansas, the soldiers used the leaves to clot blood in their gunshot wounds. So you could actually apply the leaves to an open wound and it would help the blood clot. Um, it's also medicinal and good for you. Can't remember which vitamin it provides, but I surprised my family and I will put it in um, the Mediterranean type food that I feed them with. Um, a lot of grains, veggies, stuff like that. Um, so very good to know. And then over here, I'm not sure what it is, but we have a thicker grass stalk with some yarrow, or some bigger yarrow. Um, not sure what it is until it gets bigger. Um, I've been hoping for some cattail. Don't have no cattail. So I'm guessing it's not cattail, but it is about half an inch wide. So if need be, this could be used as some sort of basket or mat making material or just to practice with. And there's a dragonfly. We have lots of those. Here's a mullen. This guy is one year. So these plants are biannual. So they only live for two years. The first year, they're little tiny fuzzy stalks. The second year, the leaves get about one foot long and the stalks get about five foot tall and they produce flowers and seeds. Um, the Indians used to use it not only for toilet paper, but they also smoked it for bronchitis issues. It actually, if you smoked it, it would cleanse your lungs make you cough the next day, um, kind of makes you remove the excess phlegm out of your lungs. So it's good for that. They also used it for ceremonial purposes. So it gives you a legal small high. I would describe it more like a body high.